If you're using a Canon DSLR for film, your screen probably looks like this. However, with a software add-on called Magic Lantern, you can get a whole lot more control. It helps you focus better, expose your shots better, monitor audio while recording and create time lapses, all without any extra equipment. In this tutorial, I'll take you from installing the software to getting started with some basic features. Magic Lantern is a free software add-on for Canon DSLRs, which runs from the SD card in the camera to give you new features. Because it runs from the card, it doesn't make any changes to the firmware in the camera, meaning that if you want to remove it, you just format the card. It is incredibly powerful, but it comes with some risks. The developers themselves acknowledge that it can't be 100% safe for your camera, and I can't accept any responsibility if it damages your camera. That being said, I've never had any problems with it, and there are filmmakers who use it for their professional work. You will have to make the call for yourself. As long as you install it correctly when you have a fully charged battery, make sure to wait until the camera is off before opening the card or the battery door, and wait until the red LED has stopped blinking, or wait 5 seconds before you remove the card or the battery, you should be fine. You can learn more about it at magiclantern.fm. These are the cameras the Magic Lantern software currently supports. If your camera is on this list, then you're good to go. Before loading the Magic Lantern software, first make sure your camera is updated to the latest Canon firmware. First, make sure your camera is in manual mode. Navigate to the last spanner in the menu and check your firmware version number. You can find the latest firmware for your camera at this page. I've also put this link in the description. Check this page for your camera model, and if there is a newer version of the firmware, make sure to update before you use Magic Lantern. Search for Updating Canon DSLR Firmware, or follow the links in the description for instructions on how to update. Before you install Magic Lantern, clear all your camera settings and do a low-level format of the card. Remember, this will wipe any images or picture styles on the camera. Head to the Magic Lantern website to find the software for your camera. Head to the Downloads page and then Download Nightly Builds. The developers no longer publish stable builds because they think the nightly builds are stable enough. Select your camera and make sure the number on the right exactly matches your firmware version. Unzip the downloaded software and then copy the contents to the SD card you previously formatted. Be careful to make sure the transfer is finished before you eject the SD card. Incorrectly installed firmware can damage your camera. With your camera in manual mode and a fully charged battery, insert the SD card and then turn on the camera. To finish the Magic Lantern installation, navigate to the Update Firmware button. This will set a boot flag so that the camera knows to run the software from the card. After you've started the process, do not touch your camera until it is finished. With the firmware installed, reboot your camera. Set your camera to video mode. You're now running Magic Lantern. Make sure to follow these basic safety guidelines with Magic Lantern. Firstly, Turn off the camera before opening the battery or card door. When you open the card or battery door, the camera will write to the card briefly. According to the developers, if you remove the card too early, the camera will freeze and will drain the battery, or even cause permanent damage. Wait for the red LED to stop blinking, or if the LED doesn't blink, wait 5 seconds. And second, if you want to remove Magic Lantern, do a proper format of the card inside the camera. Don't just delete the files. Magic Lantern will copy itself back to the card after a format by default, so press Q to remove Magic Lantern when formatting. I'll go over some useful options for filming with Magic Lantern, though it also works great for still photography. First, set your camera to video mode. Hit the trash button to access the Magic Lantern settings, or on a Canon EOS M, touch the screen with two fingers. You'll see and notice the first time. Just click the set button or tap the screen. Some of the most useful options for film are in the overlay menu. 
Focus peaking overlays dots on the objects that are in focus, making manual focusing while filming a lot easier. Just press the set button after highlighting focus peak to enable it. The Q button will give more options. Enabling zebras will highlight the overexposed parts of the image. Remember that it can always boost underexposed footage even though it becomes noisier, but once you've blown the highlights you can't get them back. Finally, the histogram is your best friend. You're most likely already familiar with this from colour correcting or Photoshop. The shadows are on the left and the highlights are on the right. To minimise noise, increase the exposure until the curve moves all the way to the right, but be careful not to clip the highlights. A red, green or blue dot will appear if that colour is overexposed. There are many more useful options to try, so experiment and see what works for you. To learn more about Magic Lantern, the user guide page is a great place to start. If you have any problems with the installation, head to the install or frequently asked question pages on the website. All these links are in the description. I hope you got a lot out of this tutorial. Feel free to comment with any questions or future videos you'd like to see.